Hello, welcome to RV Adventures. I'm Alan. Hi, I'm Cindy. And we're sitting in our Casita 17-foot Liberty Deluxe travel trailer. This is the trailer that we take all of our RV adventures in. Come along today with us on a tour of the inside. Hi, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the kitchen. Uh, it comes with some nice cabinets where you can put dishes and glasses. And then above the sink here you have another little storage area that you can put uh, spices, detergents, whatever in there. A little storage area here and it comes with two nice drawers. Put kitchen tiles and things in. And below there is storage. We put this little container here for our garbage can and then extra storage under here also this lifts up you can use it as a cutting board lifts up and you have a nice sink also on this side we have this little ex table extension that you can lift up and down with the extra work area Here we have a three burner gas stove. Above the stove we also have a nice um, bent fan and a light. Also we have a microwave that uh, Alan built this platform for that comes on and off real easy and when we're in a campground that has um, electrical hookups we just grab our microwave out of the back of the tow vehicle. Alan puts this little shelf that he built on top of the gas stove and we plug in our microwave. And then if we want an extra burner, we do have this little extra burner that we could use also. On this side of the kitchen, we also have storage. Above here, we just keep different little items in there. Then this compartment opens this way and we use this as our pantry. Um, at the Casita factory, if you want them to install a microwave, they will install it for you, but we opt not to do that. We wanted the pantry. Then below, we have our refrigerator that works on 12 volt battery, gas, or electric. That pretty much wraps up the tour of the kitchen. Now Alan's going to show you the rest of the casita. Okay, now we're going to go into our bathroom. This bathroom is pretty compact, but it, it's a small trailer. We have a nice sink here, a detachable shower head, a shower curtain that closes across here on this rod. We have a vent fan. like most vent fans and bathrooms. We have a storage compartment down here. We store extra toiletries, dishwashing detergent, different things, uh, laundry detergent as well. Over here on this side, there's a little compartment in here that goes all the way through here where we put uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, other things. Nice waterproof compartment there. Now, we have the standard RV toilet flushes with the foot lever. We have a little hook here that holds our shower curtain in place. All we do is just take the shower curtain off that hook and then it slides shut over the doorway. And then also up here we got tired of the whole area back here getting wet so we put these little command hooks up here and you can just slip that over when you get ready to get your shower. You slip these over like that. And then you close this. It's everything from getting wet back here. The other thing we put in is we have these little bunchy cards that we attached that go over here like that. And it holds the shower curtain back from you so when you're running the vent fan, it doesn't 
suck in and pull against you and then we have one that goes this way as well and hooks over here and it keeps the shower curtain back against the door so this whole space keeps all the water here in the shower drain and the rest of the restroom does not get wet okay I'm gonna show you the closet next first thing we did is we mounted a little coat hook up here for our coats and things and we mounted a trash bag holder here and this came with the trailer a little compartment there we can put things in if we put this in here we roll up t-shirts and different clothing items and slide them in there we don't use it for shoes but it's great storage for that and we still have hanging storage the entire bottom down there also we store things down there as well Alan's now going to show you our sleeping and dining area and also our storage compartments um, he'll also explain to you the way our table works and how we have our pet carrier in here for Sunny Back here in the back part of the trailer, we have our table that we eat on, and we have our kennel for Sunny. Hey, Hi, Sunny. Sunny. Come here. Come say hello. Oh, Sunny's our border collie. We rescued him about two years ago. You might have read about him in Cindy's blog on our website. And Sunny goes along with us on all of our RV adventures. Good boy. Now go back in your kennel. Let's go. In kennel. Good boy. When we're in our trailer, we always leave Sonny's door open so that he can get out and walk around in the, the trailer. He lays in here. He also lays in here and sleeps at night on the floor a lot of times. Sometimes he'll go in there, but uh, he's free to roam about and move about when we're in the trailer and he's out here with us. Sometimes he even sits up on the seats with us. Our tabletop, if you notice on top, there is a toaster oven. That toaster oven was given to us by a nice fellow in Fredericksburg, Texas on one of our RV adventure trips not too long ago. We use it when we're hooked up to electric. When we're not using it, it goes in the back of our tow vehicle. This table, which is mounted on top of Sonny's kennel, pulls out so that we can access it for eating. It pulls all the way out and we have the traditional RV post that goes into the floor here and the top piece has a little wood platform on it and this comes out and sits on top of it. Four people can sit here and eat comfortably. We've also had five at one time, two on each side and one on the end. Lots of room to eat on this table, but it folds back out of the way, slides back out of the way when we don't need it. Underneath Sonny's platform is this storage drawer that is a full length drawer, comes all the way out lots of storage space in there for rolled up clothes and other things and it locks shut so it doesn't slide open when we're going down the road on our sides we have upper storage that goes all the way from front to back all the way through uh, there's nothing there blocking it this back goes all the way to the back of the trailer this back here has a lot of storage space towels watch cloths hand towels Lots of space in there. There's about 12 bath towels rolled up in that corner. So there's lots of space there. This side also has lots of clear open space. Clear open space. Cindy likes to keep these little organization trays in here for her items. And uh, we have these little mirrors mounted on the door. Back in the back we have our flat screen TV. We put that in. The mounts were put in at the Casita factory, but we bought the TV and put it on there. They also will sell you a TV as well. It's wired to the outside for cable, TV hookup, or an external antenna. The Under the cushions is storage bays under here. There's storage under here. Of course, you got your wheel back over here, but you still have plenty of storage. It's like that on both sides of the trailer. There's storage under here, but of course our uh, electrical transfer unit is there, our hot water heater, our battery compartment, and over in the back corner over here is a fresh water tank. The trailer comes with a furnace right here. Keeps it plenty toasty and warm. And over here on this wall, we have a digital thermostat that controls the temperature and lets it cycle off and on when we need heat at night. The other thing we have in the trailer is it came with this remote control that turns on our fantastic fan. I'm going to turn that on. It automatically opens the cover and comes on and provides great ventilation when you have your windows open. And then you turn it off, it closes the vent cover automatically. It also has a temperature setting on it. The other thing is we have built in is a Coleman air conditioner. 
It has a heat strip in it too, so we're plugged in electricity. We can use the electric heat. And one thing that we've modified on it is you notice back here is we have this little air deflector that's mounted on the back side because the air was blowing out the back, hitting here, bouncing down. And when we sleep, we both sleep on the sides and the air would hit our, hit our heads back here. You might not have noticed these. These are rolled up four inch memory foams. And these four inch memory foams, we uh, take the blanket off the top, roll these out on top, and we have a nice comfortable bed. Even though this is four inch of great cushion here, the memory foam toppers do a great job and we have a comfortable night's sleep every night. Okay, I'm gonna show you one last panoramic view of the trailer. We're coming in the door on the side. And as we come into the trailer, you have your galley kitchen. And then the sleeping arrangements in the back. Now you can see the entire arrangements, the table, Sonny in his kennel. And that's the back of the trailer. That concludes the tour of the inside of our casita. Now Alan's gonna do a walk around tour on the outside. Okay, we're gonna start the walk around in the front of our trailer. Well, first of all, we have uh, the jack hitch assembly. We have two 20 pound LP tanks in the cover here, an external light for hooking up. Notice that there is a square vinyl fence post. I use that to carry extra boards like I use between my jack and the trailer frame are in there plus an extra 10 foot extension for the sewer hose with the typical water hookup we go over here to the city water connection i have the external shower uh, out because i use that to uh, rinse off the dog's feet and to wash some things the sewer hookup for black and gray water tanks goes over here electric plug standard 30 amp plug i do have a surge guard protector on there highly recommend you having some sort of surge guard this is the water heater vent this is the battery compartment another vinyl carrier in the back that carries the full length sewer hookup hose and it's adapters the swivel ends and the end and I have a complete video that'll be out uh, on how that was built and attached to the back bumper spare tire air conditioning unit on top here we have a storage compartment it goes in here in front of the fresh water tank these little attachments here are for the awning supports the awning goes the full length of the trailer uh, refrigerator intake and vent we have 110 volt outlets here another support for the awning here and the four jacks are separate jacks the trailer came with um, Goodyear Marathon load range D tires and an extra three inch lift package on the suspension get a little higher off the ground the double step uh, I put that on it comes with a single step but we felt the double step is easier to go up and down plus it gets a little closer to the ground for those uneven campsites uh, on the top you have the uh, black vent is the vent that's in the shower restroom and the two little vents on each side are water tank and sewer tank vents you might have noticed also this cover in here is for our vent hood for the range this is the furnace intake and exhaust for the furnace inside And that concludes the tour of the exterior of the Casita Travel Trader. Hope you enjoyed it. Please share your comments below and click the subscribe button. Thank you.
Are you ready? Rolling. This no, stop. Thank you. Toaster jam. Gas stove. This up. If you do it right. <laughs> this. <laughs> stop. 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 Let me do it again.